Hey YouTube opinionated reviewer. Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6 beta 1. Yes, iOS 6 beta 1. Um, they just released the jailbreak for it, uh, which is Red Snow, but it's only for A4 devices. So the iPad, the new iPad, the iPad 2, and iPhone 4s, they cannot be jailbroken on iOS 5, 6 at the moment. So the only devices it support is the iPod Touch 4 the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4 GSM and CDMA so yeah now if you don't have uh, iOS 6 and you want to get it uh, there's a free way to do it I didn't do a video on it but I have a link in the description showing you guys uh, a video so you can go ahead and try that option if you if that option doesn't work or you don't want to go through the, the steps because it's kind of lengthy you can go ahead and check the link in the description and register your UDID and you'll have access to all the betas that come you don't have to worry about anything but yeah let's go ahead and jump right into it you're gonna have to download two things you're gonna have to download the latest red snow which is this one 0.9.13 dev 1 and then you're gonna have to download your iOS 6 IPSW you guys can see I have it here for my iPhone my iPod touch 4 so I'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna right click red snow click properties compatibility check off run this program in compatibility mode 4 select Windows service pack 2 check run this program as administrator hit apply and then hit OK and that's only for Windows 7 and Windows Vista users Windows XP and Mac users you don't have to worry about that and if I didn't say it um, this jailbreak doesn't even have CDR on it before I continue let me say this jailbreak doesn't have CDR on it it's mainly for developers so I guess the next one is gonna have CDR I'm not too sure but it doesn't even have CDL install so you're gonna see when I finish jailbreaking so I'm gonna go ahead and click next we're gonna go ahead and click extras because we got to select the IPSW manually look mine is on my desktop so I'm just gonna go ahead and select it it's gonna recognize press back and now we're gonna go ahead and jailbreak also this is a tethered jailbreak so you're gonna have to boot your device tethered every time your battery dies your phone reboots etc etc so now we're gonna go ahead and just install SSH you see it says I'm um, CDR not available for this one yet and enable battery percentage cuz I'm on my iPod touch you also cannot activate so if you need to activate forget it so now we're gonna go ahead and put our device into DFU mode if you don't know how to do that don't worry I'm gonna show you we're gonna go ahead and hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds then you're gonna go ahead and release the power button and keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Red Snow recognizes our device. So let's go ahead. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as soon as Red Snow recognizes, it's gonna go ahead and proceed. So let's just go ahead and wait for Red Snow to work its magic. And I'm gonna go ahead and skip through the video and come back after Red Snow is finished and we have to go ahead and boot Tethered, so stay tuned. So now that my device has rebooted, you guys can see, you don't even see Cedia on here. But we gotta go ahead and boot Tethered so that SSH can work. So what we're gonna do now is gonna go back over to desktop and open up Red Snow again. Then we're going to go ahead and just click extras. We don't have to select the IPSW. We only had to do that the first time. Now it's cached. So now we're going to go ahead and click just boot. And now we got to go ahead and put our device into DFU mode again. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now that Red Snow recognizes our device, it's going to go ahead and boot our device tethered. So you guys already know the drill. I'm going to come back and show you guys when my device is finished booting up. So now my device is finished booting up, guys. You're going to see the same thing. You don't even know this CD because, yeah, but it is jailbroken. You can, the only thing you can really do is SSH or test out your tweaks if you're a developer. So for the average user, this jailbreak is kind of pointless. But if you're a developer or whatever, or you just want to tinker around with it, SSH into your device and stuff like that, you can go ahead and try it out. That's basically it. You are now jailbroken. May the jailbreak force be with you. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.